Hi guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you the first video. This first video will cover how to log in to DNA Subway. To get to the DNA Subway website, you want to click on this link here that's provided for you in the step seven document. When you click on this link, this is what you should see. This is DNA Subway's website. Up in the left hand corner, you'll see a button that says enter as guest. Go ahead and click that button. The next screen, it'll show you this little blue square down here that says determine sequence relationships. Go ahead and click on the blue square. Now you have a page that's going to ask you to input different information that will allow you to upload your sequences. First thing up here under select project type, you want to click this little button that says CO1 because that's actually the barcoding gene that we're focusing on in this project. The next under select sequence source, you want to click this button down here that says import trace files or import DNA LC data. When you click on that button, you'll see my name pop up, Sarah Langley, Everest Public High School. You want to click over here to the left to open up that information. When you click on that link, you'll get a long list of all of our samples for each of the four sections in biology. You'll see that over here on the left for each sample, you'll see that it's listed for their section name, team name, and sample number. So for instance, this first one is section A, team one, sample one. The second is section A, team one, sample two. Go ahead and find your two samples. So for an example, Let's say that I am section A, team one, with my two samples. I'll go ahead and click next to my two samples. I'll scroll down and I'll hit this button that says add selected files. It may take some time to upload as you can see with the green bar. Once your sequence is upload, go ahead and give it a project title. Your project title can be your name, ending with DNA barcode. Keep in mind that after one day, you will be signed out as a guest and you'll have to log in using the same process all over again. Your description, you can add one in if you'd like, but it's not required. Once you have this information entered into DNA Subway, go ahead and click continue. Here, you are now logged into DNA Subway. Your sequences are now uploaded. At this point, you're now ready to watch video number two, which is how to view your DNA sequences. Go ahead and click out of this video, log into DNA Subway, then click on video two.